Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're going to talk about two new builds from Microsoft that were released in the Windows Insider program and we're talking about the dev channel build 26120.961 and the beta channel build 22635.3785. This is the first time I make a video about two builds in one video because the dev channel build is quite a small one so I have only one thing to mention about the dev channel build but on the beta channel we have a lot of new features and improvements that we're going to talk about in this video. So if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video so related to the dev channel build we have some big news and those are that windows recall has been disabled and basically removed from the latest dev channel build as you saw we had some news that microsoft will postpone the recall ai function even though their new pcs are launching they will postpone it and only insiders with compatible computers will be able to test out those new versions even though the files are still in the operating system they are stripped out of all strings and assets as stated by alba core and also you can see a screenshot of the vive tool query which shows exactly that the id for that is disabled so microsoft is doing basically the right thing i would say because they're trying to fix their mistake by releasing recall ai sooner when it wasn't ready to be released and on the dev channel we also have a microsoft store update which you can get by clicking on get updates and installing the latest update for the Microsoft Store. Now moving on to the beta channel for version 23H2 on build 22635.3785. Well here we have a lot of new improvements. We have new things for the start menu especially. First of all, when right clicking on apps pinned to the start menu, you will get new jump lists that will be shown for apps that have them such as PowerPoint and other apps and I think that is pretty interesting and could be pretty useful. This is slowly rolling out but can be enabled manually. Also right now you can drag and drop apps that you have installed from the pin section of the start menu directly to the taskbar and I think that is also pretty useful and it stays pinned on the start menu but you can always pin it you can unpin it twice of course I'm gonna unpin it and pin it again so you can see and what you're gonna notice if you're trying to pin an app that is not installed it won't work so I think this feature is pretty cool also on the recommended section you're gonna start to get some recommendations related to apps from the Microsoft Store and from trusted developers and in the all apps section of the start menu you can right now see inside folders so if you click on the accessibility folder for example you're gonna see what it contains and you can see that it contains magnifier live captions narrator and more I think that is good and we also have this nice little animation which looks pretty good but I think it's only done at the beginning when you do it for the first time but it's still it's pretty good also future insider builds from the beta channel will show the expiration date for these builds in the settings app you're gonna see a screenshot and this was found by albacore on Twitter also Microsoft is trying out some new adjustments to Windows spotlight on the desktop to make it easier for spotlight users to to engage with this feature to change images like or not like an image and there will be several changes that in saddles will notice highlighted in the images that will be shown on the screen from the official Microsoft website and the Windows share section of course you're gonna notice this new function that will be the ability to easily share content to an Android device from the Windows share window the feature requires you to pair your Android device to your Windows PC using the link to Windows app on Android and the phone link app on your PC also on this build for the better channel we're getting the new snipping tool app update which is a pretty cool one if you open the the snipping tool app then go into the recording section and then click on new and start a new recording i'm going to start one for the purpose of this video quickly and i started the recording i'm just going to right click here and then stop the recording when you stop the recording you're going to notice this new banner which says screen recordings are automatically saved to your screen recordings folder you can turn it off in the app settings and if you close this and if you go into app settings we're going to notice this new option automatically save screen recordings original screen recordings are automatically saved to your videos and then it's the screen recordings folder and i think that is pretty cool option that you can leave enabled if you want and I'm gonna go into the video section and you have your screen recordings and we have here our latest screen recording now let's talk about a few fixes in this build for example related to the taskbar and system tray Microsoft fixed an issue causing the taskbar to not appear for a small number of insiders in the last couple of flights related to the file explorer Microsoft fixed an issue causing screen readers to not announce when you were opening or navigating items in the breadcrumb flyouts of the open or save dialog and also fixed an issue causing screen readers to not announce anything when opening or navigating items in the column header flyout in the file explorer related to the start menu microsoft fixed the issue from the last flight where if you click on your profile icon on the start menu and chose change account settings it would not open account settings also if you want to see the known issues and the whole list of fixes in this build please don't forget to check out the article below where you're going to get the official microsoft blog post so this was the video for today i hope you liked it if you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one this is Manny from tech base until next time, have a nice day.